This is the RP timer board. It comes standard on all dust collector units. It has a LED display in the top left corner and it has three buttons underneath that display. A down button, a up button, and a select button. To the right of the display are four little indicators of on time, off time, last output, and cleaning. All these will be factory set when you get your dust collector. So if you just press the select button, you will start if at on, on time at the very beginning. And we factory set that to 0 0.07 seconds. So you just press the down arrow until you get to 0 0.07. When you hit select and go to the next option, off time, it will load in your previous setting. Off time is the time between each pulse, and we factory set that at five seconds. And then you hit select to go to last output. This is the number of solenoids you have on the dust collector. So for an RP4 unit, you would have two solenoids, so you'd set that at two. And when you hit select again, it, none of these indicators will light up, and that means it's just pulsing. When you hit select again, you go to off time, and you hold down the select button for about three seconds, and it'll flash, taking you to the after pulse setting, which we factory set at 999 seconds, which can be gotten to easily just pressing the down button, 999. Hit select again, and everything is loaded in. And if you would ever need to change these, this is how you would do it.